Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Donruss Optic Football. Four box, a tiered random team number two. You can see the next one's in the store already. So uh, Nick tiered up the teams just like this. So it looks like each line has three teams. Some have more. Nice. So there you go. Big thanks and good luck to these folks right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list six and a four ten times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, we got Derek Melanson down to Paul Hutchins. Six and a four, ten times. Teams. Nine, tenth, and final time. We got the Broncos block down to the Patriots tier. All right, so Derek with the uh, with the Broncos, Bengals, Colts. Tyler Redskins, Rams, Bucks, last spot mojo. Jesse with the uh, Jaguars, Eagles, Bears, Jets. Chance with the Cardinals, Falcons, Dolphins. Joe with the Niners, Ravens, Chargers. Chris with the Seahawks. Titans and Packers, Tyler with the Cowboys, Chiefs, Panthers, and Saints. Curtis with the Giants, Browns, and Texans. Jesse with the Raiders, Bills, and Vikings. And Paul with the Patriots, Steelers, and Lions. Let's order these alphabetically by team. All right, there you go. I'm going to pause the video, allow for some trades, and when we come back, we'll, uh, we'll do that break right here. 2019 Donner's Optic Football, one auto per box on average. All right. Be right back. And we're back. There was uh, there was some trade chatter, but no deals were done. We almost had a deal done, and then the person was like, ah, Jesse. It was Jesse in the chat. He was just like, nope. Wait a second. What am I doing? I'm terrible at trade. I'm terrible when I trade. Bad things happen when I trade. So he walked it back. That's okay. That's all right. So we got tiered random team number three. Wait, this is number, check that. This is tiered random team number two. Oh, what am I doing? Come on, Joe. All right, there it is. Must be losing my mind. So that's actually number two. There you go. I can fit all this in one, one, one shot right here. There you go. On tax day, which has been extended... So it's not really tax day. So Jackie Robinson Day. All right. One auto per box on average. We've got Mahomes and Murray on the front. I think I lost my, I lost my other knife. I couldn't find it today. All right, so let's rip open all these packs here. Should we go two at a, two at a time maybe? Ladies and gentlemen, I watched Tiger King. Finally, is everyone is people are people still into Tiger King? What a what a crazy show! What a wild show! I didn't like any of those people. All those people seem bad. <laughs> I mean. One, one per, like, I feel like, uh, I feel like Joe Exotic needed to take a chill pill. He, I mean, he got himself into jail. Yeah, Carol Baskins is a murderer. Definitely killed her husband. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty against the, the, I'm pretty against this these whole like zoos and preserves that are the so-called preserves that are around there. I think her Carol Baskins' group is uh you know I think is could be legit, I think, but I don't know if I like her as a person. Um there's some weird things happening there. Uh who is who's that Jeff guy? The Jeff guy who's always wearing affliction shirts? 
Uh, that dude's a con artist too. That guy's not a good guy. You know, I don't know. That, but I'm, I'm, I, uh, yeah, it, well, um, it, it's, Ken, it's, Ken saying it's a, what a garbage show. You refuse, how do you know if it's garbage if you don't watch it? I watch it and there's a lot of garbage people in the show, but the way it was cut, the way it was filmed is pretty fascinating. I, I have to admit, I don't know. So, oh yeah, and that doc guy's not even a doc. Like that guy, that guy is just like enslaving women and like trapping them into this cult style compound. None of those people are, these are the, none of these people are good people. You've seen the YouTube clips, Ken? That's like, that's like saying you've judged a movie by watching the trailer. What if the trailer was just bad? All right, well, that was enough for Ken. Ken, Ken, Ken doing some Malcolm Gladwell thin slicing. He was just like, I saw it. I don't need it. That's right. Mark, Mark Sawyer's right, though, what he said earlier. You can't take a chill pill while you're on meth. That's true. Joe Exotic. Yeah. Man, that, it, it, was, it was like a train wreck. My, my, my mouth was, was agape the, uh, the entire time. They should just shut all of those down and not let you own tigers in, in general. It was it was wild. It was definitely a crazy a crazy show. I don't even know. At the beginning of the show, there's Devin Singletary of Tiger King. They basically say that that you know they're dog people, they're cat people, and then um, they're dog people, they're cat people, you know they're bird people. They're all you know, but then there are exotic animal people, and those people are are insane. I was like, yeah, it's true. Yeah, it seemed like the, those people are just take it take animal. To, to just a, a crazy level. When I, uh, in my old radio journalism days, there's A.J. Brown for the Titans. I actually did a small little segment on the trafficking of exotic animals was when I was in San Diego. And yeah, that's it's a huge industry. It's a, it's a, it's a creepy, huge industry. <laughs> there's Rashawn Gary to 299. It's been going on Obviously, for a very long time. There's Travion Williams, 98 out of 99 for the Bengals. That'll go to the Broncos, Bengals, Colts combo for Derek Milan. So, Punisher Prime, what's going on? Should we allow Mike Tyson to keep his Tigers? Do I ever miss it? No, I don't. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of work for a little for not not enough money, and I think the nature of journalism I think is so heavily click based. Um, that, that, you know, even the best of journalists, I think, will fall prey to being, like, first to report before first to being accurate. And it's tough. And there's just way too much content out there that people have to battle for real estate. And that, that creates more editorializing and more sensationalism in journalism. And so it gets difficult, and which intentionally confuses people. And so... It's tough. But um but the radio program I was on was nice cuz it wasn't like breaking news. It was like a morning drive time show. So it was a lot of like more more evergreen pieces, you know. Not like this hard hitting I'm going out and it wasn't like investigative reporting or anything like that for me. How did I end up here from turn I know, right? How did I end up here, Connor? I have no idea. You know, just life takes you. Life takes you places. It's two ninety nine. And is that Kirk Cousins' autograph? Ten out of fifteen. Yeah. You like that? Vikings. 
That's the Raiders, Bills, and Vikings combo that Jesse almost traded. Ten out of fifteen. David uh, De La Pena saying, "What's weird to me is that she never bothered to go see how these animals actually live in the wild." Well, Carol Baskins seems like a logical thing if you're fighting for them. I think they're all bad people. You know, it's like it's like uh, it's like Anakin Skywalker saying, "Oh, I'm doing it for the good of the people. That's why I have to enslave the people." I'm doing it for, it's like mafia when, when like Michael Corleone's like, I murder for our family. That's what we're doing it for, the greater good. <laughs> well, I've been watching Narcos, right? And so I started Narcos season one, I've never seen it. It's like Pablo Escobar saying, I'm doing it for con mi familia. That's what we're doing it for. It's for the family. You know? <laughs> and that's how they justify it. You know, it's like, oh, I'm, now I have to imprison tigers to free tigers. Out of 199, Zay Jones. Although, Jeff Goldhaber, I will return to the radio for one, for, for one, uh, for one thing. I will do Breakfast with the Beatles on uh, KLOS 95.5, which is based here in Los Angeles. I'm just figuring out how to take his job. At a 299, Julian Edelman. And I like this black parallel here. 5 out of 25. Dexter Williams with the Packers. That's going to go to whoever the Packers. Where are the Packers? We'll top load all these a little bit later, too, before they go out. I can't see Packers on this list, but they're there. Oh, there it is. Chris Erickson with that one. Breakfast with the Beatles is fantastic. That's one of my favorite shows. <laughs> you can play Beatles music and talk about the Beatles? I can do that. Well, Connor... Yeah, journalism is not for everybody, man. It's, I do. This is much more enjoyable, though. Um, nice hollow rated rookie, Dwayne Haskins. It's Tyler Stump tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Uh, yes, Mark Sawyer. I think I. you're not paying attention to the schedule I've been dropping into the chat. There it is again. And if you look on the website, Mark Sawyer, you can answer that question yourself, too, instead of yelling at me. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. All right, next two. But David, yes, I love... Uh, I love uh, I, the Arcos. I've only, I'm, like I said, I've, I haven't seen any of the seasons, but I just started season one. And it was, it was pretty... I'm, I'm like, how many episodes? I'm like seven or eight episodes in. It's really good. No need to yell, then, Mark. If you've never been here before, just relax. <laughs> we'll get there. But to to see all the uh, is the now without giving too much away is Narcos in Mexico. Uh, is that a is that a good one? I think that's the latest one, right? With Diego Luna, who was in Rogue One. And I guess a lot of, like, Mexican telenovelas and stuff. Apparently he's like a, a heartthrob. Yeah, don't do not do that, Mark Sawyer. Appreciate it. You can just... Non-caps is fine. Oh, season four just came out. Gotcha. All right, I will have to. I'll have to watch all of those because it's it's pretty good. I kind of like the. There's sort of a sort of like a Scorsese-ish uh, voiceover that kind of works. Usually, usually the voiceover is sort of a lazy plot tool, but I think with so much with so much information that you kind of have to digest about that era, 
Um, I think the voiceover works and it feels kind of Scorsese-esque, which I enjoy. It's shot, it acted really well, shot, it's a lot better than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a little more, I don't know what I thought it would be. I just thought it'd be a little more over the top, a little too sensational. Um, and it's got its fair share of action, but I don't know. I, th I don't know. It's just written. It's it's written a lot better than I thought it would be. I enjoy it. It's enjoyable. It also reminds me. Uh, I'm like, oh, I gotta I gotta work on my Espanol. This is. Here are the last two box here in this four box tiered random team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. The next four boxes in the store right now, which I think is the last third of the case. So if you want to finish that off tonight, we definitely have time to do that. I think I saw some gold down there too. Good luck, everybody. We got David Montgomery, rated rookie to 299 for the Bears. And there's Devin Bush to 99, rated rookie autograph for the Steelers. I'll go to Paul with the Pats Steelers Lions combo. David Montgomery, of course, will go to the Bears. Ryan Kerrigan. There it is, the gold. Gold is Dak Prescott. Tyler Stump with the Cowboys, Chiefs, Panthers, and Saints combo gets the Dak to 10. Nice. Tom Brady to 199. That's a lot of money for Christian McCaffrey. Good for him. Eli Manning to 299. Easton Stick, rated rookie hollow. Chargers. That'll go to Joe Pearson with the uh, Niners, Ravens, and Chargers. Combo spot tier. Montez Sweat and those great commercials. Sweat. Josh Sweat probably pissed off. Where, where, where's my? Where's my Old Spice money? He's telling his agent. Six out of Montez got it. All right, final box here. There's a Chauncey Gardner Johnson, Nick Foles. The 299. Oh, there's your autograph right there. There it is. It's Philip Rivers to 150. And the auto is going to be for the Purple Birds. It's Marquise Brown. The rare Marquise Brown autograph sighting. He's usually a uh, redemption. I think this was maybe early. When did this come out? But. 98 out of 99, one of the rare, <laughs> the rare Marquise Brown autograph sighting. That's the Niners, Ravens, and Chargers combo for Joe Pearson. Nice, congrats. 
No, Logan, I did not get around to that. Is that out on the, uh, is that out on videotape yet? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? I mean, I guess I could, I could rent it from the Blockbuster, but if it is. To 199 Brian Burns, Panthers. Corey Davis to 299. Although speaking of Tarantino, I did watch uh I did watch uh whatchamacallit? What did I watch? Another Tarantino movie. Oh, I saw I I rewatched Inglorious Bastards, which which I enjoy. I've seen it many times before, but I like it. Still like it. Once a time it's only in Betamax, so I'll have to go to the video store and find the go to the Betamax section. You didn't like it. The first of his films you didn't like. So you like Jackie Brown, too? Jackie Brown seems to be the one people don't like that I actually really like. Did you like Hateful Eight? Hateful Eight. Oh, that was great, too. Ryan Finley. Uh, no number, but it's in that velocity parallel. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. There's Derrick Henry to 199 for the Titans. And there you have it. Thanks, everybody. That was Four Box Tiered Random Team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Next one's in the store, so check it out, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.